Hey there, YouTube followers. This is Michael of Penny War Games, and today I'm looking back as it's December 31st. I'm looking back at 2013 and what of all that I've accomplished, and mainly as a war gamer. Um, I have to say, 2013 was a year to remember for me. Um, it was back in February that I uh, had the idea that I would like to paint miniature models for a living. I'd like to paint. 40k models, Privateer Press, anything, any of the tabletop uh, miniatures, and it's still a dream I'd like to do. You know, I'd like to paint for a living. Um, it's a dream that I'm willing to settle on that I can just do it as a hobby. You know, maybe it won't be a full-time job. Maybe it's not something that's gonna, you know, make me a million dollars or you know, be the one thing that I do the rest of my life. I'm I'm okay with that because I love painting models. Point blank. I love painting models. And I love supporting the hobby. So I was back in February, I had made that decision that I was going to uh, try to do this. That I was going to try to, um, you know, become part of the mass, you know, like Mini Wargamer J, like Blue Table Painting. Um, uh, there's, you know, there's, there's other guys out there who paint, and I just can't think of their names that actually paint for a living, um, who paint models for people. It was sort of, um, you know, right about that time, I was never used to the concept of making web videos like I am now uh, for YouTube. You know, um, I had really tried to follow Sean and his crew at Blue Table Painting, um, and at that point, I had tried to contact them to get a part of their team. Uh, that said, it didn't happen. Um, and through the interview process, I got to see Sean and the Blue Table Painting crew for a uh, different light than most of you guys do. And uh, those reasons will be um, held in reserve at this time, even though I think I've voiced them on a previous YouTube show, uh, video. But, um, I mean, it's been an interesting year. Um, Mid to uh, you know mid uh 2013 I think it was right around May I had you know finally got you know I had a webcam it was a real crappy one I decided to get this one um I don't get what it is up here I got the uh, Logitech HD webcam C525 um it does HD um it does 780p and it's supposed to do this auto focus thing too they do have a better video one um at the time. It was only like 75 bucks, you know, I didn't have a whole lot of money into my name, but I had this, you know, real crappy one that went autofocus and wouldn't do a whole lot, so I decided to upgrade and do this, and so far it's done pretty good. Um, when I first started this, when I first started painting war games, um, I believe there was a guy on YouTube, and I, I and I apologize for taking his name. Um, I think his, I think his name was War Games Painting, um, and I was watching his videos a lot. And right at that time, I was like, man, you know, I got to come up with a name. And I didn't realize it until recently what I had done. I, I went to Gmail because I have my, you know, Gmail account for, you know, business purposes. Uh, you know, like sending out resumes for jobs and stuff like that and health insurance things that I need. Um, and I went to Gmail and I said, hey, I'm going to make myself a new email account. Um, and I typed in painting war games because I thought, you know, I'm going to be painting war games. I really didn't realize what I had done at the time um, until recently, um, but it was free, so I took it and I, you know, made a YouTube channel out of it. Um, and I apologize to War Games Painting for taking his name and sort of spitting it. Um, you know, I I paint War Games. I'd love to paint models for a living. Um, you know, I paint models for my buddy uh, Reese right now. Um, he's basically my own client um, and you know we're friends uh, we became friends because of Wargaming because of Warhammer I met Reese through um, a escalation uh, tournament you know it was uh, it was like you know you start off with 500 points and you move up uh, and that it was an escalation league effectively and he was one of my opponents and man it was a really good game I played with him. We became good friends, and I'm proud to say that we're still friends to this day. But, you know, with that said, um, 
you know, I uh, back in September, I sort of took a look back at what I was trying to do, and I was really trying to push the whole painting commission thing. You know, I, I wanted to do that, and I had reached back out to Sean over there at Blue Table Painting, and I got rejected again because I, I have a hard time flying out there. You know, I only make minimum wage. I work 40 hours a week. It was real hard for me to justify flying out there, um, working a week, and having to pay my expenses going out there and staying out there for a week um, on a gamble. Yeah, because I honestly didn't have the money at the time. And I still don't have the money at this time to justify just picking up and, you know, rolling the dice and seeing if I hit a six, you know, and hoping that I don't hit that one. Um, so I, after that, I, I dropped it. I dropped trying to push commission painting on YouTube. Um, and I decided at that point that I should start doing reviews. Um, my thoughts on things, um, <clears throat> you know, my reviews on paints that I buy, you know, and I still got a couple of these I'm going to do. And then, um, you know, models that I am painting for, for you know, Reese and myself, um, you know, that, it, it's, it's all fun. I like it. You know, I, I like doing this. I love creating content for the wargaming community. This is, uh, I'm not looking to make money on it. I don't monetize my videos. I don't put ads in my videos. It's not something that I don't believe that needs to be done. Um, I'm sorry, guys, this video is going to go long because I'm sort of putting my heart and soul into this one. Um, it wasn't until, I believe, October um, that I really got the notion that. Um, and then I had been painting for Reese for a while at that point. Um, you know, the Hell Drake, the, the first set of Obliterators, uh, you know, Noise Marines, uh, Raptors, and I still got a couple things I got to work on today for him. Um, so, you know, it, it wasn't until that point where I decided, October, where I said, you know what, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to create a video series of something that I start from scratch, you know, I, I, I do it as I as I go. And granted, I'm looking at my videos right now. Some of my videos get 20 views. Like this tournament overview one got 20 views. My Vulcan He Stand view only got four videos. Um, some of them, I think one of my videos actually got no views on it. Um, which is really odd. Trying, I'm going back and looking through it. Maybe it did get some views now. Uh, a painting War Games Ramble, uh, done on September 14th. Only got one view. Um, team tournament list got one view. One of these got an absurd amount of views. Yep, there it is. Um, it was right after I had started painting War Games. Because um, I started my first video was February. Third, and Mini Wargaming had this video contest, and I decided I was going to do a how-to on Tybros the Redwick as my video entry on how to use them, and um, I got 234 views from that video, and it was because of their video contest. Granted, I have changed a lot since then. I shaved my head a couple times. Um, as you guys have seen in the videos, and I, I tried going over the Necron Codex. I still have yet to complete that. Um, you know, I disappeared for a while. I think there was a point where I think I didn't produce a video for like a month or two. Um, trying to look through this. Yeah. Because um, I'm looking through. Yeah, from July to September. July 13th was the last time. It, from July 13th to the September 11th, ironically, September 11th being the, an odd day. From July 13th to September 11th, I did not produce a single video. Um, man, a lot went on during the summer for me. A lot of changes went on. A lot of things were going on at work. But, to get back more on topic, in October, um, I had decided I was going to do a video series, and then I got the Obliterators from Reese. You know, he really hadn't done much to them, and I, 
you know, I, I decided these were the models I was going to make the video series about. Um, and I did. I accepted a challenge and I didn't know exactly how far I was going to go. Um, sorry guys, I got something in my eye. I accepted something that I didn't realize how long it was going to take me to do. And yes, I got frustrated. I got upset with myself not not foreseeing that how many steps I actually do take in painting. You know, I I wanted to get these things done and out of here. So, you know, but they turned, because I produced the videos, because I was sharing the content with you guys, those models turned out better than I had done on the previous three. And I, I greatly appreciate that. You guys have pushed me to um, become a better painter. I remember, I, I have models, my Salamander Army, I have models, and I just recently broke them out of their holding box that I hadn't really played Salamanders at all this year. It wasn't only until recently I got the Space Marine Codex and I decided I was going to play them. And I looked at those models I first painted back four, about five years ago. And man, I just, I look at those and I'm like, wow, those things just look bad. You know, they look bad because at the time I wasn't a good painter. You know, I had painted in high school, as you guys know. I painted that guy. Come August 2014. I will have been out of high school 10 years. That thing is getting on 10 years old. And it's a lot. I mean, and from my first models that I painted to this guy, and yes, I'll put a still of him at the end. My Farseer, probably one of my best models I've painted this year, as far as like line and penmanship goes. I'm really proud of that model. I don't want to get rid of my Farseer. You know, I don't play Eldar. Still don't want to get rid of him. I like him too damn much. Um, so, yeah, I mean, so I accepted that project back in October. And, you know, I said this that's what I was going to do. And I, I, I'm i looking back at when I actually produced the videos. The first video on the Obliterator project was in December. Um, and... It was at the beginning of December, which is odd because I had a lot of these videos pre-done, like before they were up. Like I know the first one says December second. I think I had that video look done like two or three days ahead of time. It was already finished, and I I was just I was cranking on stuff. You know, things come up, guys, and I was working on stuff. Um, it the first video went up December second, and the last video went up December 9th. Um, so yeah, it, you know, not a whole lot of time, but I prefer to get done with models that I'm doing for people in like a day or two. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for pushing me to make some truly remarkable models this year. Um, the Heldrake that I did for Reese, man, it was amazing. It, it still is amazing. And I'll, I'll put a bit, picture of that up. The Heldrake I did for myself, you know, it was amazing. You know, me, you know, you guys... The content producers out there, you know, this is mint green. This is a color I never would have thought of looking for or trying. Um, it's because of you guys that I that I jumped out of my painting shell. I was always the Citadel paint range, you know. Games Workshop, Games Workshop, true and strong. Their paint range, you know, Citadel, uh, you know, their little paint pots. I really hadn't dipped into the dropper paints. But because of you guys and your guys' content out there, that I decided to look elsewhere. And I have to say, I'm becoming quite a fond of the dropper style paints right now. Um, I'm becoming such a fan of them. Um, and I like them. I actually like them more than I like Citadel paints and Games Workshop paints. I just happen to have a ton of them. I mean, come here, guys. Look. I'm going to have to take the webcam down here. That's one drawer. That's the other. And there's more to be had in a box in the other corner of the room. I mean, sorry guys, I keep on moving this. But I have literally, almost, I think I almost have every color of the old paint range. Now the new one, I don't have a whole lot of yet. 
I have almost all their dry brush colors because, as you guys know, I'm just such a big fan of their dry brush colors. But yeah, I mean, that's 2013 in a nutshell. I mean, I I have produced 52 videos um, this year, and this will be the 53rd. Um, there will not be another one for this year. And I think I have 18 subscribers. And when I first started, I didn't have a single subscriber. Um, it wasn't until I got a hold of the man uh, called Gamza on YouTube. Uh, you know, the Legion of Gamza. You know, it wasn't until I got a hold of Gamza and that I really pushed this. Um, that pushed this to the next level that I did. Um, I asked him, how does he do this? You know, and if I could, because he was recruiting people for the Legion. And I asked him if I could be a part of it. And he said, yeah. And he sent me the, the PDF uh, for the opening. Because uh, I, I am a founding member of the Legion of Gamza. Um, it wasn't until then that I really got that push that I needed. And, you know, I'd always been watching videos. I'd never been having a lot of people watch mine. See, so, yeah, I have 18 subscribers. Out of all my videos, I have 877 views. Out of 53 videos, and this is probably going to go up as... As of 52 videos up right now, 877 views, 18 subscribers, and it's because of Gamza that I was able to get 18 subscribers since effectively September. Um, I really wasn't known until then. You know, it was in September that I reached out back to him and said, "Hey, you know, how do I get more subscribers?" And he, I guess my name and my thing had fallen through the cracks in the system. Like, and we all got cracks in our systems. We all forget to do things, and I understand that. Um, that, um, I was able to get pushed. In the last 30 days, I've had 244 video views. I've had two subscribers added in the last 30 days. That's a lot to me, guys. I know it doesn't sound much to the community at large, but that, that means a lot to me. And it really does. And thank you. I mean, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I know we all have tough times, we all go through rough patches, and I'm no exception to that rule. But when things seem their lowest and at their grim, I tell you what, I turned to painting models. And they, you know, I keep on picking up this model. This is my Angels of Revolution. This is my own custom chapter that I'm making. Like Gamza has the um, the American Legion. Well, I'm going to have the Angels of Revolution. And I'm actually creating a backstory for them, too. And I, sometime in 2014, I'll do a video where I talk about the Angels of Revolution and their backstory a little bit. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it's I am actually creating my own Space Marine chapter. So now I finally felt compelled to do, once again, because initially when I first started, I was, as, we, as you guys all know, show it again. If I can get it up there, I have the Hollow Ichigo tattoo there. I'm a hardcore Bleach fan, and I had the <laughs> my first original Space Marine chapter colors were black and ultramarine blue. It's because there's only two, really two colors I had, and I was calling them the Shinigami, the Death Gods. But I, you know, fell in love with the Salamanders, and I went that route. And as they say, the rest is history. Um, so now, working on the Angels of Revolution. Um, I'd like. What am I? What do I expect out of 2014? Well, if the rumors are true, we'll be getting a seventh edition. I hope it's not true because I hope we get a ninth edition of Fantasy. Um, because if we get a ninth edition of Fantasy, I will jump over to Fantasy. I really want to get into Fantasy. I love combat. I love close combat. More to the point. Um, it seems like fantasy is that game. It's the close combat game, and I'd like to try it. You know, it's it's not bad to mix up things. You know, I I've tried Privateer Press, and in 2013 I decided I was no longer going to play Privateer Press. Um, none against their game, none against their model, but I love Games Workshop. Games Workshop is such the juggernaut that it's sort of hard to derail it right now. There's a lot of it's. Um, I guess to be said that. Um, Privateer Press doesn't have a big following here in the St. Louis area. 
It's all right. I know there's a big following elsewhere, um, particularly other, around the world there is. So, um, in 2014, I'm hoping things will change. You know, as I'm looking forward to 2014, I have a couple goals in mind. One is I'm, I want to get a, uh, a website for you guys to look at um, because I sort of utilize my Facebook as my own personal Facebook and a, a means to show off models to people that I know, um, like personal friends and stuff like that. Um, I'd like to get a website where I could show, you know, where I could produce content for that website to where I could put pictures of these guys up to say, look, this was done on this day and here's, you know, I'm going to step by step stuff. Um, I'd like to start airbrushing my models, like, you know, doing the base coats airbrush and doing some of the nicer details airbrush. I'm still going to use a brush, don't get me wrong. Um, it just seems like you can do some pretty unique base coating or top coating. Sorry, guys. Top coating colors with airbrush. The Angels of Revolution probably never do airbrush, and if I do, it will be something that comes later on down the line, probably somewhere in 2015 if I'm still working on them. Um, because I like them too much how they are. Um, and I don't want to critique that just yet. Um, but yeah, airbrushing uh, website. I want to get portable. You know, I'm, I'm looking to get a laptop. Um, you know, a laptop to where I can do battle reports for you guys. Um, it's something that I have seen done. Um, but I'd like to, and more to the point, I'd like to get the software and I'd like to get a better camera to do battle reports because. As you guys know, if you don't have the software to back your battle reports and the good camera, they tend to look like crap. And uh, I don't want to do that. This is fine for us now, What I, the setup I have now. But somewhere in 2014, I'd like to do that. You know. So here's to a bright and colorful 2014. Hopefully all of us as a community will grow. Um, you know, There's a lot of things happening. Tyranids will be out here in, a, in about a week. Um, looking forward to seeing that, even though I, I have promised my friends and my fellow war gamers in the area that I will not jump back into them because I'm working on the Angels of Revolution and no need to do that, right guys? Um, so, alright guys, thank you. Thank you once again for supporting me, for backing me up, for sharing my videos, for liking my videos, for leaving your comments. Even though I don't respond to all your guys' comments, I do read them. Um, I mean, I, I know, I'm sort of a weird guy. Um, but yeah, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting me through this and uh, uh, encouraging me to become a better painter. Um, so yeah, to all those who are watching, thank you. Um, have a safe New Year's Eve. Don't do anything reckless. Um, be safe. And uh, as always, keep gaming.